to go ahead and answer is from uh, Robert W. in Charlotte. Uh, when engraving rotary, true type fonts, how do you fill in as opposed to just an outline? Okay, that's a good question. And the first part of the answer is you need, so you need to make sure your software has the level to do that. All right. There's a couple different uh, levels of software and we'll go into that. So next thing you do is set it to a true type font. Alright, so you highlight it, change your fonts, and then click down here and it'll change your font. Then you highlight it, go into your color wheel, which is the bottom le in the bottom left here, on the left side of your toolbar. Alright, go on properties, this little box will pop up, click on properties. And this is your tool screen. So this is where you can set it to do 2D fill, this little drop down box right here. Initially it'll say plotting. That's, that's what it will say for all the tools on default. Alright, so once you have this drop down here and you see everything lit up, if it's grayed out, that means your software is not capable of it. And you'll need to talk, uh, you'll need to talk with a salesman to get, uh, get that upgrade on your software. But if you do have the drop down box, you'll see 2D on surface. So that's the one you're going to use. Alright, so the first one here is Island Fill. And the second one's Hatch Fill. Most people use hatch fill. You don't, uh, don't, they don't use to change the degrees on the cut. And so yeah, you just change it to 2D on the surface, click OK, and go back out here. And if you want to check it, all right. So this is how you check it. These are these are filled letters, but as you can see, they kind of look like a blob. That just means that the letter height. How big the letters are here is see how small it is. That means the tool is bigger than the size of the letter. All right. And if you do have that, there's two options. You can make a bigger letter, or I'll go back into the same screen here. It's actually the wrong type of tool. It's set for a drill bit. All right. So you go into it's the same same way to change it though. See how it looks like a drill bit here. This will be a representation of your tool. What it looks like. So. You click on the plus minus on the right side, find your tool, right click on it, go to edit tool. Here's your profile over here for your tools on the right side. Okay, most people are going to have a standard cutting tool. You might have a diamond drag and that would be different. But this is just for a standard cutting tool. And this bottom number here is the width of the tip. Alright, it defaults to 118. Uh, a lot of, uh, People use different sizes. I like to put it to a nice 050. It's a small tool. It gives you a lot of definition on what you have. So once you have the tool set to the right size, you can see here in a reversed manner that everything looks good. Alright. So that is how you do 2D on 2D filling. 